Hello, today we'll be upgrading this uh, bike, electrical kids bike, with a better battery and we'll be putting battery protection on it. So here I have two different batteries which have different voltage and a uh, voltage tester which also includes a low voltage alarm inside. So what I decided to do, uh, the kid is growing, so the kid wants a faster bike and um, I looked at the electrical motor in here. Initially it's a motor that can work according to the manufacturer with uh, 6 volt batteries, but this is not the first time I am trying to add some more power to motors that are designed for lower voltage and it actually worked. I think this electric motor is big enough. To resist that kind of a voltage so we'll try and see so my idea is to switch from 7.4 volts to 11.1 volts and make this bike run faster and i also want to protect the battery because lipo batteries require protection if they run out of charge too much they can get deteriorated and i want to make sure that these batteries serve longer life so let me first of all show you how the buzzer works. This is the device that should be connected to the battery. Let's first of all try it with the 7.4 battery. So once you connect it, it makes a sound and then it starts indicating the different values on it. So I had to take this buzzer inside because on the sun you don't see much. So when you connect the buzzer to the battery, you will see different indicators on it. So uh, it will tell you the voltage of each cell inside of the battery. So this uh, battery has three cells inside, so it will go one, two, and three indicating the voltage for each cell. For the first one it's 3.6, for the second 3.7 and for the third 3.7. Then you can choose at what threshold you want this alarm to make a sound. For example, there's a button here. You will push the button and this is saying now 3.3. .3. So when the cells get discharged up to 3.3 uh, 3 volts, this alarm will sound. Now you can arrange it to a higher threshold up to 3.8 and now it goes to off and you can turn it off. That's how it works. And then you can start from 2.7 and up to 3.8. So you can see that the 3.7 threshold the alarm starts to sound and as we could see 3.8 it should also go off and when you set it to lower limit then it will not go off this is a very useful device I'll put it into the motorbike and the sound is pretty strong so I'll be able to hear it Th this way I will avoid deteriorating the battery. Now let's check the same with a 7.4 volt battery. We just disconnect this and connect another battery. The socket is not very well done I'd say here because you don't really understand which way this plug should go in. Now the tester shows you that we have two cells. All cells have now 8.2 volts and the first cell has 4.1 and the second cell has 4.1 volt. And also you can set up the low voltage threshold here as well. Now let's check what will happen if we use different batteries and let's uh, check how this wheel will rotate will it go faster now i'll show you how it works with the 7.4 volts 
let's plug it in. Remember how it sounds and how it rotates and we'll see now uh, if there will be any difference with a high voltage battery. Now let's plug the second battery which is 11.1 voltage battery and let's see how it will work. And as you can hear, the sound is different and it's definitely rotating with a higher speed. And the motorbike will go faster then. So that's how you can upgrade a kid's bike with a different battery. And don't forget to use the low voltage alarm devices for your lighter batteries so that they can serve longer.